Hey, what's up? Alex from Motionland here, and this is going to be an overview of the new features of AViewer 1.5. So you can install the new versions using the standalone installers that are available both for macOS and for Windows. And if some of them will fail, you can also roll back and use the classic ZXP installer method. So let's install the AViewer on macOS right now. So as always, we can uh, open the A viewer via Windows menu. In the new version, we have updated the user interface. It became more intuitive. We have finally added the support of the retina displays. So all icons are now super crisp. And we have updated the navigation panel, the settings panel. So right now it looks more like an After Effects settings. The next feature that we have added in the new version is support of the uh, audio waveforms uh, currently are supported waveforms for uh, wave files and for mp3 files. And as you can see, all those uh, waveforms are generated live. So you don't need to create a previews for those files since they will be generated automatically. And what's good about that feature is that even large files will get a preview really quick. So we have also added in new formats, NEF, XPR, TIFF, APNG, and some more. JPEG and PNG sequences are coming soon. We have also added Cinema 4D files. After Effects will extract the preview directly from Cinema 4D files, so you don't need to create uh, the previews manually for those. And those Cinema 4D files that do not have the preview then it could be an old version of Cinema 4D file, or the file just doesn't have the preview. Also, we will add Mogart files in the next update. Right now, if you'll click on any of the scripts that are available under the scripts UI panel, they will be opened as a dockable panels. We have also added ability uh, to import uh, multiple files at once. So if you will hold Option on Mac or Alt on Windows, you will be able to select multiple files for imports. And with a right click, you can choose uh, the method which you prefer for the import. Or you can also select all the files with shift click. Another great addition in the new version of AViewer is a pre-render tab. With pre-render tab, you can save your compositions as separate projects and AViewer will automatically create previews for them. So, for example, we have added all our selected compositions and now we can see the duration of each composition. And we can also set up in and out points that are going to be used as duration of the preview. And the current time indicator will be used as a static preview. So, after we have done everything, we can just click render. A viewer will add those compositions to the render queue, render the previews and automatically save compositions as separate projects. Another great feature that will be useful for those people who create uh, the templates for Video Hive or other marketplaces is called Packages, where you can install your packages, a set of the presets, set of the elements, and so on. So how do you create those packages? And to do that, you open this menu, select Create Package, and you have to fill all fields under this panel. All fields under this panel are required. And after you have filled everything, you need to select your folder with the files and make sure that you have added folder preview.png file, or you can add it later. After you are done, click on create project button. Here I have my smokes zip project. There are two ways to install uh, the created pack inside the A viewer. The first one and the easiest one is to just drag and drop your uh, project inside a viewer and it will be automatically installed. And the second option is to go to this drop down menu and click install package. After we have installed our package, uh, with the right click, there are going to be a few options available. And the first one is called info. Here we have all the information that we have pre filled during the creation of the package. And those links are clickable. And as you can see, our folder preview PNG is used as a thumbnail for our project. 
We have also added a new feature to check the updates. And under the settings menu, you can customize which tabs you want to show. Also added uh, the new frequently asked questions. And the new version of AViewer also doesn't show the Adobe After Effects autosave folders. That's it. Uh, I hope you will enjoy the new version of AViewer. Please share your thoughts and ideas on Twitter with the hashtag AViewer or on A scripts. And we will catch up in the next video.